Hey guys, Social Media Manager at Mitrix, and today we're going to be showing how to pair your wireless controllers to the Asus ROG Ally. Now, this is very good since the Asus ROG Ally does come with its own stand built in in the box, and you can even dock the Asus ROG Ally to any monitor or TV just by buying a USB-C dongle that has an HDMI port built in. Today, we're not gonna show how to connect your device to any TV or any output, but we will be showing completely how to pair your controller, whether that's the PS5 controller or Mitrix's very own Pro Controller. Our Pro Controller syncs up with Windows, iOS, Android, and Nintendo Switch. So let's turn it on first. We're gonna turn to the side, click the power button. Mine is already on so I don't have to put in my password here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to pull up the Bluetooth, uh, more Bluetooth settings. Now you can always type at the search bar and type Bluetooth settings, but I find this is like the fastest way to get there. And as you can see here, it says add device. We're gonna click on Bluetooth, audio devices, mice, keyboards, phones, pens, controllers, and more. And the first thing we're gonna do is on our PS5 controller, we're gonna hold the PlayStation button and the select button. While holding it like this, it should start blinking like this. And then DualSense wireless controller has now come up. Now, as you can see here, it is already connected. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Steam. And not only we're gonna open up Steam, but we're, we're gonna open up big picture mode since it's a very easy way to control Steam with a controller. It's like one of the fastest way to show controller support. All right, so let's press any button to continue. And uh, as you can see here, we are piloting big picture mode with the PlayStation 5 controller. Okay, we're gonna go to my library. I have Baldur's Gate and a few other games already uh, available to play here. Uh, these automatically work with the DualSense controller. They have DualSense controller support. And um, if anything, I can always go to my all games or the games I even installed on the Asus ROG Ally. So let's pop up some Castle Crashers. Very easy to launch game, very fast paced. Uh, gameplay two players as well because we will be showing the um, other support from our Mitrix Pro controller. All right, and let's check out the PlayStation 5 controller. Let's see how the how the inputs work. If everything is working perfectly fine, you can use a level one character. And the Asus Rock Ally actually uh, it actually loads games pretty fast. This was like as fast as my laptop. And it, it works, full support. You can use poison by holding R2 and square and yeah, it works. This is great. All right, let's check out, let's check out the other games. So now that we've shown that the PS5 controller works effortlessly, we're gonna pair Mitrix Pro Controller. Now, this process is a little bit different. So you flip to the bottom, have it on Windows, and then we're gonna hold this top button. This is the sync button. And once it starts moving like that fast, that means that it is pairing. Now we're gonna go to Bluetooth the same way as before, click on those Bluetooth settings and add a device. And right there, the Mitrix Pro Controller comes up as a pro controller and it's connected. Nice. Now with the controller connected, we're gonna be able to test it on Steam as well. So let's go to Steam. All right, so now that we have our Mitrix Pro Controller already synced up, let's test out Cuphead. All right, and as you can see, our controller is working 
perfect on the Asus ROG Ally. I did see an option for multiplayer as well. Wow, this feels great. I feel like no input lag. The Asus ROG Ally does come with 120 hertz uh, display built in. Not only can you pair a controller to the Asus ROG Ally, but you can even play two players with local play while using the actual console itself. So if you ever find yourself on an airplane or on a bus, you can just hand a controller to a friend and you guys can get to gaming. Well, as you can see, it's very easy to pair not only the PlayStation 5 controller, but even a third party pro controller that works for Windows, Nintendo Switch, iOS and Android. It still has great connectivity to the Asus ROG Ally. The Asus ROG Ally does a great job at emulating straight up like using a laptop. If you guys have any questions regarding pairing your controller or whatever the case with the Asus ROG Ally, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.